What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. This morning, it just seems like everything has wanted to be against me, so we're going to try this out. I have my good camera up here because my vlogging camera ran out of batteries. The battery died, but I think I left my pouch of all of my batteries um, not at home, and so I don't have any extra batteries. So that's charging the heaters on. I don't even know. We're just gonna we're just gonna go. Like we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it and we'll see what happens. I'm pretty excited for this video because I've been wanting to open these since before my trip to Boston. In this video, we're gonna be opening these. These are these weird uh superhero blind bags that I got from Target. I got these while I was Christmas shopping with Dana. Um, they only had two left, so I bought both of them. And basically, they were $6.99 each. It says that they're going to have over $20 worth of toys and collectibles. So I thought I would test that theory and just see kind of what, you know, what these came in. Because I've never, ow, I've never seen these. Ow! You know when you, like, put your elbow down and then it does, like, a weird thing and then it hurts? Ow! Eh. Anyways, um... Cool packaging. The packaging's what caught my eye. And I found these in the like Funko Pop collectible section at Target. You guys know how they have those new sections near the electronic section. Um, in my Target, it's actually not near the electronic section, but kind of, but not like in the back of it, how most Targets are. Anyways, so I bought two of these, and we're gonna go ahead and just crack these things open and see if we got $20 worth of toys and collectibles. All right, let's do it. Now these are made by NECA. So I doubt there's gonna be anything Funko related in these because NECA is its own company. Um, this one's a little bit heavier than this one, so we'll open this one first and see. And let's do it. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Look, I don't even have to use my teeth because there was a little like, you know, what do you call it? Like a little like thing. Okay. Here we go. Now, the first time I see, I forgot that Nika made these, is scalers. I actually have this exact scaler, and I have it on my iPhone cord at work. It's bringing back some memories. This one's um, actually more updated, though, because it says Iron Man from Avengers Infinity War. So I have, like, I have one. The one that I have is, like, older. Why are you not focusing? What's happening? Let me just... Click this thing right here. Okay, there you go. Sorry, there's it's a little bit glary. My apologies. But yeah, there you go. You got an Iron Man NECA scaler. The second item that we have is... Oh, it's a little plushie. So I just got a plushie from the same company when I opened up my Loot Crate DX box. It was from this company... What is it? Funny? So this is the same, exact same line from the Batman plushie that I got in that box. It's Kid Robot, but this one's much smaller, but it's of Harley Quinn. This one's a lot smaller, though, than the, the Batman one that we got, which I don't have next to me right now. So still a cool plushie, funny and Kid Robot. So that's a cool, that's a cool little like combination partnership right there. All right. And then we have two more items. Um, the first item that we got, there are there two mystery packs. So we have Hubs, Hubcaps. These are or Hub Snaps. Uh, do you remember these? I've actually opened a few of these on my channel. I think they came from my mm, Toy Box Monthly box, maybe. Um, this is DC, and there's like a bunch of different ones that you can collect. I want to say this is some kind of game, but these are basically like oh, sorry, you can't even see. It. They're, they're basically like these little things that you can like pop and then they make noise oh, my camera doesn't want to focus today so so those are all the different ones should we open these and see what we got they're not the coolest thing in the world to be honest okay we got we got one that represents batman v superman there it goes right so there's that one and then we have one this is, what number is this? This is 5 out of 48. Then we got 22 out of 48, which has Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman. So there's that one. And basically, these things just snap. Like, <clears throat> they just pop. What are they? What would I? 
you know like a Snapple bottle cap? It's like that. It's literally like a Snapple bottle cap or like any kind of drink bottle cap that has the little seal thing after the seal's been broken. I'm not really, I mean, I don't really know like what you do with that, but it also came with this Wonder Woman card checklist thing. Okay, and then the last one we have is a Marvel Dog Tag Mystery Pack. I am not going to open this because I'm going to go ahead and get this added to a prize box. I feel like that would be better use of this. Um, ugh, there is a rare gold variant, though, which, of course, I want to try to get. Uh, uh, uh. Guess which one I got. Are you joking? Come on. Come on. Ugh. I thought I might have gotten the gold variant because the chain was gold and the edging was gold. <sighs> that was womp womp womp. I got Captain America. Lame. Okay, so that's all the items in the box. Let's go to do some quick pricing and recap before we open the other one. I have a feeling the other one's gonna be very similar probably the exact same. So let's see what this one did price wise and then we'll go from there. So we had our two mystery packs. <clears throat> I would say that you could give those each three dollars. That's basically it because I don't know. Um, you might be able to give it three ninety nine, like four dollars each, but I think I think three is fair. We had our scalers which surprisingly sometimes those are actually a little bit more expensive than you would think. I want to say that we've given them five dollars in the past because Somebody said you could buy them at the dollar or at the five dollar five and under store. What is it called? Below five, five below. It looks like six ninety nine on Amazon. Five ninety nine. Okay, five ninety nine. I think that's fair. That sounds about right. So we're gonna do six dollars for that. Then we had our Harley Quinn plushie. I can't believe these plushies are worth so much money. You know, the thing about it is that it is a kid, ro it's connected to kid robot, which I think increases the value. Yester yesterday when I did, or whenever I did the Batman one, I gave it 8 to $10, but that one was much bigger. This one's much smaller, so I would say that this one's probably more like 6 to $8, and I would be fine giving this like 7 so like a six ninety nine price point. I don't know how much higher I'd go. I think 8 would be the highest, but I think that $7 is fair. I actually think $6, to be honest, but we'll give 7 We'll be nice because it is a kid robot funny slash funny product. I don't even know what that means, so we're doing 7 Okay, a coin price in this box is worth $19, over $20 worth of collectibles. So I think this fell a little bit short of that. Now, I did price the mystery packs a little bit lower. You potentially could give those $4 each, but I don't really want to. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I think that those are easily $3 mystery packs. Um, and I think I might have even priced the Harley Quinn plushie like $1 higher than it needed to be. But all in all, I only paid $6.99 for the bag. So even with a $19 worth of value, I paid $7, which means that I got $12 worth of extra value. And even if I overpriced some things, you're still getting about $10 extra value. So it's kind of worth it, actually. All right, let's see if this one's any different. I hope it's different because these are mystery bags. So that would be disappointing if they were all the same. They are different. Okay. So, oh my gosh. This didn't even look like him. I thought this was supposed to be Star-Lord, to be honest, but we got a Captain America scaler. I did like him in Avengers Infinity War. Like, I like the way he looks, but this, like, specifically, I don't know if you can see a close-up of his face. This doesn't fully look like him. Like, I at first glance, I, I thought this was trying to be Star-Lord. It looks kind of like Tony Stark and Star-Lord put together. Okay, but I'm glad that we got a different one, so that's good. All right, this plushie, we got the Joker. I'm probably gonna, I'm just gonna leave this in the bag. Same size as Harley Quinn. It, it's very similar in shape and body form, minus Harley Quinn's hat, of course, and the Joker's hair. But that is a cool plushie. I'm not a huge DC fan, but it's still good. 
And then we got the same two mystery packs, which I'm not going to open because I'm going to put these in my prize box. Although I really want to see if I can get the gold variant. No, self-control, self-control. Okay, so all in all, what I'm going to say is that these are actually pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm pretty excited about them. <clears throat> I like, actually, that there's a mixture of kind of DC and Marvel because... I would have been sad if it was all DC stuff, so I'm glad that we got some Marvel stuff out of it. I, I'm a fan of Scalar, so that's probably why I'm actually like a fan of this. And I do like these plushies. I'm a fan of the plushies. Um, I like anything Kid Robot related, to be honest. I'm a little bit biased when it comes to that, like anything that's Kid Robot, because Kid Robot's a little bit fancy or a little bit more expensive, so I tend to like all the stuff that they do. But yeah, not too bad for, again, even, even if you don't price it price things as high as I price things for $6.99 you are getting a lot of extra value and you're getting cool products I'm sure that these were just like backlogged items that they couldn't sell especially these hubcap snapper things because these are kind of weird all in all a good bag especially if you have like kids or whatever that like superheroes I think that this is a good option I haven't seen them since at my target so I don't know if they're still available but you should definitely check out your local target and check out the Funko Pop section. They were kind of hanging on one of the things. All right, guys, that is all I have for you in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I would really, really appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about these bags and did anyone get their hands on them? And if so, what items did you get? I'm assuming that everyone got these two items, but what plushie and what scalar did you get? Just kind of interested to see what the different variations are. Sometimes you find out that everyone got the same one, and sometimes you find out that there was a ton of different ones. So I'm just interested. So let me know down below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is going to go to someone random someone random you get the video shout out that's actually their username someone random i'm not just giving it to somebody randomly but anyways uh you get the video shout out. thank you so much for watching commenting and supporting my channel i appreciate all of your support and i want to give you the video shout out so shout out to you someone random shout out to you all right guys i hope you have a great day and i will see you guys next time bye